Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically update your Figma text content from Office 365 Word using the CopyDoc plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to the little resources icon at the top of your file and if you click on that and search for CopyDoc, so that's C-O-P-Y-D-O-C and if you click on plugins and then click on the CopyDoc item, that'll let you run the plugin by either clicking on this little run button here or you can click on this little more options icon here and click save plugin and that'll save it to your plugins list for easy access later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm going to go to my canvas and just right click anywhere, go down to plugins and then go down to saved plugins and then click on the copy doc item. And that's just going to run the plugin we saved a second ago. So the plugin has a bunch of different features, but for today I'm just going to be focusing on the export text layer feature and import text layer feature. So the first thing we're going to do is export our content out to a Word document, which is going to let us open it up in Office 365 and make some changes. So the first thing I need to do is just click on the export text layers button and make sure that the export format up here is selected as docx. So docx is the Word document format we're going to be using. So I'm going to make sure that's selected. Then just go ahead and make sure that the frames you want are selected. I've only got one in this case, but you might have some other ones in here as well. And then you can go ahead and change the other options to your own liking, but I'm just going to leave all of these as default and then click on the export docx button. So I'm going to click on that now and that's just going to export all of our Figma content to a Microsoft Word docx file that we can now open up in Office 365. So I'll show you how to do that now. If you click on the download docx export button and save that to your computer, then open up the zip file and open up the folder and you'll see that you've got a designs folder, which is just a static JPEG of the content that we just exported for reference. And then you've got your docx file. So we're now going to open up this docx file in Office 365 uh, using Word. So I'm going to go back to my browser and just go to OneDrive uh, in Office 365. And you can upload your docx file to OneDrive just by dragging and dropping the file into OneDrive. So I'm just going to drag and drop that now. And that's just going to upload it into OneDrive so we can then open it using Office 365 uh, Word. So I've got that uploaded into OneDrive and you can open that up in Word just by clicking on the docx file here. So I'm going to click on that. That's going to open up uh, Word in Office 365 in our browser. So we can basically now edit the content in Word using Office 365 online. So you've got all of your content in here that we just exported from Figma. So now what you can do is basically go through and make any changes you want in Office 365. So I'm just going to change some of these items in here just to show you an example uh, of how we can update some of this content in Office 365 and then re-import it back into Figma in a moment. So I'm just going to make a few really basic changes just to demonstrate how it works. So we can do things like uh, some simple formatting. We can do text updates as we just saw. Uh, we might want to update some of these little tags here. So if we change those, uh, we can easily do that. So I'm just going to change visual effects to visual design. I'm going to change design to development and I'm just going to change uh, UX to uh, copywriting. So I'm just going to make those little changes and make one more change here. I'll just change that to Amazon and we can change uh, one more company as well. So I'll just change that one to Microsoft since we're using uh, Microsoft right now. We'll just change that to Microsoft and I think that's about it. So to get this content back into Figma, all we need to do now is export this as a Word document from Office 365. So we can do that by clicking on File, then clicking on Save As and then clicking on the download a copy uh, item. So that's just next to this little Word doc item here. So you've got the Word doc icon, just click on the download a copy button and that's gonna basically save your Word document to a local file. So once that's finished saving, you'll get this little prompt that says, do you wanna save it or download it? We just wanna download it directly to our computer. So we're gonna click on this download a copy button. So I'm gonna click that now and that's just gonna download it to your computer directly. So basically I'm just gonna open up my download folder now. So if I click on my open folder button and you can see here it's downloaded the updated docx file that I've got here. So I'm just gonna minimize uh, Office 365 for now and drag this little folder over a little bit so we can see our Figma plugin. And now what we wanna do is basically go back to our CopyDoc plugin in Figma, close off this little confirmation screen so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-import my text updates to Figma, which is going to allow me to update the text content from our updated Word doc file that we just saved. 
So I'm gonna click on the import text layers button here. And then what I'm gonna do is go to my folder where I just downloaded the updated docx file from Office 365. And I'm gonna drag and drop that docx file back into Figma, back into the CopyDoc plugin in this little drop zone here. So I'm gonna let go of that now. And that's basically gonna load up any content previews for the changes that we made in the file. So you can see here, if we scroll down, it's gonna give us a little preview of what content's been changed in the file that we've just dragged and dropped. And it's gonna allow us to basically select what changes we wanna make in the Figma file. So you can uncheck some of these. So if you ever wanna uncheck any of that content, you can just go through and do that. Uh, I'm just gonna leave most of these selected for today. And I'm just gonna click on the update Figma text layers button up here. So this is gonna apply all the changes that we're previewing. I'm gonna click that now. And this is gonna go through and update all of our text layers. So you can see it's updated 11 Figma text layers and we can compare that in our designs now. So if we have a look, uh, you can see that it's made the content update changes uh, that we just made in Office 365. You can see we've updated those company names uh, over here. We've updated these little tags. So remember how we changed uh, some of those tags into copywriting and visual design and development. And we also added some really basic formatting. So some of this text is now bold uh, and italic down here and it's basically changed uh, the heading and subheadings as well as we expected. So that's basically it. It's just a really quick overview that I wanted to show you of how you can uh, make those content updates from Office 365 if you're using that to edit your Word documents. Uh, this is gonna be a really quick way of going about it. Uh, just be mindful that if you're updating content that uh, is longer than the current text content and you're not using auto layout uh, as we are up here, uh, you may have to manually drag and drop some of those layers uh, in your design if they've been updated as well. So you might just have to be mindful of that. If you're importing any content that's gonna be longer uh, than the size of the text layers in Figma. Uh, so for example, if this was uh, two lines and that was an auto layout, it would basically be squashing up against there and you'd probably have to manually reposition that content. Uh, but because we're using auto layout for these particular items, uh, it's making it much, much easier to automatically apply those text updates uh, with your layout. So it's just something to be mindful of if you are editing content in this way. Uh, you just wanna make sure your design is really robust with the auto layout options already set up just to make that a bit easier for you. So um, yeah, we'll leave it there for today. I just wanted to make a really quick tutorial on this. If you've been wondering how to update your Figma text content from a Word document, uh, if you're using Office 365 to edit those documents online, I know not everyone's using the Microsoft Word desktop app. So if you are using Office 365 at your company or personally, uh, you can use uh, that Microsoft Word online to edit these exported Word docs from CopyDoc and re-import them as well. So that definitely is supported. So we'll leave it there for today. Thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.